What's good, YouTube fam? It's your boy Tony, aka Descendant of the Chaos and Controversy. And uh, today's topic of discussion, before I get into it, is going to hit upon many points, okay? And with good reason. And the purpose of that is last night, Ricky Manor had a live podcast, or a live stream, I should say. And he had a guest on, as he would do every now and then. Um, and they come over from TikTok. But these people have a platform that pretty much touch base upon things that talk about stuff in more depth, in more detail, about things that, that, that on the surface, we just take it at face value. But like I said, when you start to question things, just to get an understanding and look for the actual reason that they don't like to tell us because they'll throw something out there we'll just take the bait and just run with it and and, and and they depend on that you know I say that when it comes to the teachings when, when we debate especially in today's uh, current status when it comes to events in history, um, the accuracy and, and, and the details is just not what, when it comes to what we are taught versus when we get older and we do our research and, and, and we start, you know, looking for answers to the questions that we have because something doesn't seem to connect. Okay? But, Ricky Manor had a live stream last night, and it was the mother of all live streams. I mean, this one was like, <whistles> knocked that one out in the park. So, um, guess he had on her name. Her name is Pink. And uh, they started off talking about 9-11. Everybody has their 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 little take on what happened during that tragic event um and it's to say that you know what it's not it, it's not to downplay the tragedies and the lives lost on 9 11 because it, it is messed up but the purpose behind it and the reasoning that they gave especially on the surface wasn't as cut and dry wasn't as forthcoming wasn't exactly truthful now i know people and, and he said it too he said look this is going to be surrounding conspiracy theorists or uh, consp uh, conspiracy theory but that's what they want you to think because if you, if you could downplay something to make it seem like ah oh, you know there you go people just out there speculating and stuff they 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 they, they bank on that as a matter of fact they they hope that there would be nobody to question the motive. Um, there was something that Ricky Manor said, and, and, the, and the reason why I follow him, because again, he's a little more well-versed and more articulate and in more detailed in some of the topics that he cover that I could just come and I might be in, 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 in how should I say, and adjacent to but more simplified because his pre his presentation on how he, he talks about things is different from my presentation. We could be on the same page about certain things, but if you want to look, if, if I'm pretty much the type of person that give you the cliff notes. He gives you the whole, you know, coo uh, kit and caboodle about, about certain things that, you know, is a little more detailed. But he goes on to talk about the whole the whole purpose of 9-11. And it wasn't as cut and dry as everybody thought that it was. You know? Um, he was talking about how uh, Saddam, not Saddam, you know what I'm saying? Um, Osama bin Laden, you know, when it came to him wanting to convert things back to the gold standard. I believe I believe that's what he said. 
and people weren't, you know, accepting that. And he said, okay, because like, you know, I always say, America always want to find reason to put, put or insert themselves in areas and how we always got our boots somewhere else on other people's land and territory, but you don't see other people's boots and armies here in America. There's a reason for that. Um, he burnt up his oil. He set fire to his oil because <clears throat> people were going in stealing his stuff. Huh. Um, he was talking about like in Afghanistan and stuff like that, how there's the poppy fields. You've seen pictures if you dig a little deep and do your research because that's what we always say. Don't just take what we say at face value. Go do the research. We're not here to do the work for you. We're just here to bring bring attention to certain things that we talk about, but we're not here to do the footwork for you. Because you can come back and say, oh, you're just speculating. No, there's a point of reference. There's validation in what we say. Otherwise, we will not be sitting here right now talking about this. There's poppy fields that was protected by the US military. Why you gotta go somewhere else to protect poppy fields? When you got your own reason to be here in, in this country. But again, America's all over the world. Um, we, we insert ourselves in certain conflicts that we don't have no business being a part of. We're talking about uh, <laughs> What Biden did in Africa with the drone strike, Somalia. Mm. Yeah, but all those people, well, I can't say everybody because not everybody that was black voted Democrat. But with that, you see how that flew up under the radar. Nobody's really talking about that. Good example. But um, in the comment section, I'm going to leave a link. If, if he has it up, I'm going to go back and look for it after I post this video. Because it was a good conversation. It was a good talk. And he talks about those, those in particular that I've made points of references to. When we talk about all this racial uh, mess that's going on, the conflict, I, I kept saying... Who are the ones really responsible that throw all this stuff out in, into, into, into the mix to create the chaos and the division? That everybody just choose to conveniently ignore. When you talk about these certain individuals that they have being mouthpieces, the ones that we label as grifters that gets paid to promote such BS propaganda. He said it on one, and, and if he if he couldn't explain it any better than what I could, he talked about the examples of the Brandon Tatum's, the Caden, the Caden, the the Candace Owens, the ABLs, and if you want to throw in the Hodge twins, you can throw them in too. And I'm sure there's a couple of other people that that can be affiliated with that clique. And if you just listen to the, the 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 stuff that they speak about and how they are and how they spin it and people are followers too and it's just like I said too um I'm for what is right and I'm and I'm against what is wrong right is right wrong is wrong okay now to get to the part where I want to point out I always said when I was growing up, my dad, my dad said, son, you know what? I need you to question everything. Don't just take everything at face value. Pay attention to detail. That stuck with me. That resonated with me. Pay attention to detail. Because if you don't, you might just accept things to go along just to get along. And then you might find yourself in a predicament that, it, it, that you could have avoided from the jump. Um... And I'm going to point out unpopular comparisons. And I had to make a little rough draft last night, so I want to lose my train of thought when I want to go about presenting this topic of discussion. Okay. So, a lot of these things 
when it comes to the unpopular, compar unpopular comparisons. One, we all are familiar with conflicts when it comes to uh, the white community versus the black community. Um, the WAS, the white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, the white nationalists versus those that are pro-black, right? Um, and you got a lot of arguments and conflicts going back and forth. You know, you got one side saying that uh, blacks should get over a lot of stuff. Um, they, they, they should stop being uh, uh, victims or, 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 or advocating for victimhood. Uh, this isn't a racist country. There's no such thing as racism anymore. Um, but then you turn around and there are examples to debunk that. To prove otherwise, because nothing can fly completely up under the radar anymore. Not with everybody recording pretty much everybody's movements. But then again, another another channel, uh, the Debate Me channel. Okay, he pretty much like like me. He don't side with. Republicans or Democrats, which will be another example that I'm going to point out later on. Um, he points out the BS on both sides. The agendas that is being pushed on both sides. The guilt that you can find, the fault that you can find on both sides of the parties. But then, and, 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 I, and I thought when when you go to listen to, to, to the live stream on Ricky Manor, I thought he was making a reference to um, the Debate Me channel. Because they said there are uh, there are those there are those who are actual in the elite status who are racist, and they gave their spin and their points of view on critical race theory and what they actually thought about it. Again, these people who are the actual racist here in this country of elite status that sit there and look at. <laughs> And laugh at the conflict and again pay attention because a lot of things that people put all and invest all their energy in to want to attack I want people to recognize the smoke screens while you sitting here looking and focus solely on things that's going on over there the things that are being um, orchestrated behind the scenes more serious matters that they don't want you to uh, focus on so that you won't be able to address it. So they'll just throw a little bait out there for people to just run and attack like dogs on the bone fighting for that one bone. Okay? I want you to understand that. Uh, we all saw what happened with the Republicans versus the Democrats. Right? Um, you have people getting mad about what Obama did or didn't do. So then you had Trump coming in and everybody rallying behind Trump, right? Um, and then they were throwing out uh, Obama divided the country, but then again, they also said that Trump divided the country. Same talking point, same narrative, saying that both were, were responsible for the racial divide, I'm making comparisons going back and forth because I want you to see a pattern that has been formed. Okay. You had people, um, Trump supporters, that were being attacked for being Trump supporters. Now we have this constitution, right? These amendments, right? The right to the to free speech, freedom of expression. And like I said, you may not agree with the politics or who people support, which this whole thing with Obama and Trump and even the fucking Biden situation, where do we get to disowning family members, disowning friends, being mad for what reason that is so fucking trivial because you support um, some candidate that it got you that deep in your feelings and that deep in your convictions and that deep in the, the, the person that you want to make your alliance 
with that you're going to disown people because you don't agree when it comes to the politics? How the fuck petty did we become? That is sad. That is really sad, juvenile and trivial. That that it, it takes that much pride to put a wedge in a relationship. Households been divided. Forget the country. Households been divided based on political beliefs. If you're not understanding this, but then you want to sit there and cast judgment and criticize me, but it seems like I'm the one that can see shit for what it is. And everybody else is just the walking dead. Um, you got the conservatives versus the liberals and stuff. We all know who claim to be conservatives, right? Ah, yeah. Um, law enforcement versus civilians. You heard about the propaganda that they, pro and I've spoken about it with the Black Lives Matter. And that's another thing. You have people attack, just like you have people attacking people who supported Trump, which I found to be stupid. Because you have a right to support whoever you want to support in this country. Ain't that what make this country what it is? But there's a lot of contradictions that fall along uh, the wayside when it comes to that. But the same animosity that was projected onto Trump supporters was the same animosity that was projected onto the Black Lives Matter supporters. Now, I said I didn't support the organization, and with good reason. Ricky Manor talked about Sean King. And before Sean King, you had the, um, the women. And their mission statement wasn't for the black community. They actually advocated for disrupting the nuclear household where they didn't care for the men to be in the household. And then all the money that they raised didn't go back into the black community. Instead, it went to support the political parties. And Ricky Mayer goes to talk about who uh, funded that. Was it George Soros? Or, or one of them high, high, high elitists. Oh yeah, he gets deep into that discussion. Yeah. But you had that conflict. So, so far, we covered the white versus the blacks, the wasps, the wasps, the white nationalists, and the pro-black in the, in the black community, the Republicans versus the Democrats, the conservatives versus the liberals, law enforcement versus civilians. Oh, and I think I skipped over that. So, yeah, they made the agenda to where the narrative written was that law enforcement was only problematic in the black community. But then again, when you look at the white community that has been suffering the same fate, media doesn't touch upon that. These conservative individuals don't talk about that. No, they only talk about their perspective when it comes to the black community but they conveniently deflect from or exclude the, the same type of impact that law enforcement have on the white community. I already pointed out the Daniel Shavers, the Ryan Whitakers, the Hunter Brittons, um, the, 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 John, the John Hurleys, and many other examples that I've done in previous videos. Again, um, and then we go from there to the pandemic and the impact it's had here in this country. Now you got this fucking conflict going on with the vaccinated versus the anti vax the anti vaccinators. Again, another thing to wedge division amongst Americans and 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 and, and people trying to mandate, you know. Or, or, or make you seem like you're this if you don't get um, the, the jab. But then people have a right to not want to get the jab because, hey, if they say, I feel that's too soon to get this. And then you've seen what happened when you had the Johnson & Johnson um, vaccines that was contaminated. 
and how that affected people who got the shot. Pfizer even put out a mission statement saying, hey, some deaths are acceptable. Man, but they but they won't point but they won't put out uh um side effects may cause this adverse reaction. FDA won't even approve it. And people are sitting there making fun of the fact, oh, you won't get the jab just because it's not FDA approved. There's a lot of stuff that you that you do, like you drink and you eat, and that's not that's FDA approved. Da, da, da. But there's not enough research that went into these vaccines. And people have legitimate concerns because when you have all these examples, and now you have people coming out talking about uh, the information that we gave wasn't all forthcoming. But they 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 generate fear. They get people all stirred up. They get people going against each other. Because if they don't go along with the, with the certain propaganda that they're trying to promote, then you got uh, uh, <laughs> being what, what the idea behind. Being a patriot, being patriotic versus being unpatriotic, right? You got people who talk about, oh, if you're protesting against this, you're protesting against the country. No, you're protesting against certain issues within the country that need to be that need to be addressed. But people like try to mesh mesh things together to throw you off. And then they try to exploit people like the vets to say, oh, you're disrespecting the, um, the military. When the military or the vets don't get their due respect that they deserve, you got vets that are homeless. I've touched upon this. You got vets that's still waiting to unqualify for certain benefits. My sister's a prime example of that. She had to wait because she got mental issues, PTSD and stuff like that from fighting wars in, 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 in Iraq. You got people that, that, that come back as amputees, got mental disorders. Because they can't get medicine and stuff like that, they, they, they revert to, to alcoholism and drugs and stuff like that to numb the pain to escape the horrors of the war or the things that they've done in the scene only to come back to this country that they served and protected only to be looked at as expendable throwaways of society disrespected by law enforcement not in all cases but when you look at certain examples it validates that point Um, <laughs> then we get to the sports arena. Athletes versus the fans. <sighs> America, the great divide. So let me do the big recap, putting things in, into, into perspective. You had a tragedy on 9-11 that Ricky Mayer talked about that for a moment temporarily brought the country together okay uh, we were all unified political parties and all right we were all Americans and somebody said it before it's crazy how it seems to always take tragedy to, to unify us but it takes bullshit to divide us. We need to wake up and, and, and see how things play into certain narratives. I want people to understand the, the, the working mechanisms that are going on behind the scenes.
again I'm gonna leave a link in in the comment section uh, to the video I'm, I'm praying that Ricky Manor had left that up there because it was a good 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 conversation it was um, the debate me channel that's another one he I'm find a link to what I was looking at when he was covering a particular point that I was making and he was he he pretty much he landed on the mark with that being said until next time until next video please 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 I'm begging you like share subscribe thumbs up thumbs down Leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think. Peace.